Hey everybody, it's Amanda from TimeTravelHypnosis.com. Um, I was just thinking, I saw a video this weekend where Daniel Scranton was describing or explaining why he does, um, he makes the various noises he does when he before and after he channels and what all the hand movements and finger movements and all that are about. So he was kind of describing what he had found out about that and how, um, you know, he tunes in and connects immediately. So that's all the Arcturians or whoever he channels doing that. So I thought that was really interesting. And the question that I get most um, is why are there so many pauses when I'm channeling? And it, it really, it doesn't offend me. It just makes me laugh because channeling, wow, channeling is so interesting and it's different for everybody. Uh, some channels are not conscious and some channels like as in they just completely step out of the way and whoever comes through comes through and they don't really um <clears throat> they don't try to process or, or control any of it which you really shouldn't try to do that anyway because then you filter the message even more than just through your consciousness but i'm kind of like a semi-conscious i i can sometimes i'm more aware than other times but even when I'm aware, um, as soon as I'm done, it's like being in hypnosis. Like you, you're aware of everything that's going on, but then when you, you finish, you still know everything you said, but then after a while it just kind of fades and you're like, what, what did I, I don't even remember what I said or what we talked about. So all that is kind of a little beside the point of the, the pauses. The pauses are because when you're channeling you are connecting to a collective or a being in my case a collective of consciousness so it's kind of like if you have a tech question your your um shift focuses to that sort of area of the collective that specializes in the tech stuff and if you're talking about health then you go over here to this you know aspect of the collective it's so different than how we react with people you know in our day-to-day -day lives so when you're channeling a collective the other problem is they don't only use words they send like complex um like a whole overview of something <laughs> and then they have to find a way through your mind and your way of thinking to get that across. So the pauses are like my brain trying to process what it is they're trying to say it, it because it's not just words. I mean, they start with words to help me like get going. So the pauses at first can be, they've just given me three words and I have to say those three words and then they give me another sentence and I say that sentence and then all of a sudden we're synced up. I'm synced up with their frequency or whatever and then they can bring more and sometimes it's easier than other times. Sometimes it just like it just flows right through and I don't have to you know there's no problem you know with translation or anything but sometimes the concepts are stretching my brain a little and it's more difficult so it, it takes some pauses to um, from, from my brain computer to process the information that's trying to come through it. So that's the deal with the pauses. Um, because I don't think, I mean, I do, everybody pauses in their speech, but the, in the channeling, there's a pause in the middle of a sentence sometimes for several seconds. It's like, how can there be a pause there? That's weird. And it's weird to me too. Sometimes I edit them out. Like today, today's channeling, I edited a bunch out because it was, I, I had to read that, like, I had to transcribe it to understand really what they were trying to say. And then I had to read it again. And I think I have it. Anyway, so even for me, like, even me, I'm, it's coming through my brain, it's being translated through my thoughts and my understanding, and I still <laughs> couldn't get it. So it's very complex. It's a whole different you're dealing with a collective of consciousness for one thing, and then you're dealing with a whole different way of communicating. They don't just talk words. In fact, they don't talk words. 
they don't speak so you're literally having to to translate from another type of being and another another type of thought to our type of thought so that can be tricky but once you get synced up you know if they can sync up really well like if you are exactly a match to their frequency or the frequency they're having to match to to match to yours like both of you are trying to adjust frequency until you can get close enough that some stuff can come through and if you're a little off like i may have been a little off today for some reason uh you know i was having a, a hard time syncing so pauses other times i just like rattle it off and it just comes through and then when i'm transcribing i have to pause the the little recording every five seconds and catch up but sometimes i think they pause just so I can transcribe. Like they put a pause in there because they know that's where I'm gonna have to catch up. It's weird. Anyway, so that's really the biggest question. The other question, the only other question I've gotten was, um, not a question, but a comment about um, my quiet voice. Um, and that's just because I'm so relaxed. I mean, I've, I'm holding the microphone up to my mouth. Um, <clears throat> But you know, when you're in hypnosis or when you're in meditation, and you're really relaxed, you're not going to speak in a really animated way. So, um, so it comes across really sort of quiet and soft. Or maybe that's their frequency too, part of that. I don't know, because I have noticed when I channel, there's another, um, I don't know if it's a collective or just individual consciousnesses come through from that collective at different times, but they're very, um, their frequency is faster or something. So when I channel them, it comes across, it sounds kind of almost childlike and, and it is very fast, which is weird to me. I always thought that I would um, not be one of those channels who, who, um, whose way of speaking changes um, when they channel. But I mean, if that's the, frequency that comes through it's like almost like if you're trying to translate you just almost have to so anyway so those are the only two things I can think of that people have mentioned the pauses and I always transcribe for this re well not just for that reason I do transcribe because it is hard for people to some people to get the message when it comes through in such a choppy slow way it's irritating so i trans transcribe it for that reason and also it helps me um like i said sometimes i have to read it to understand like i think i know what they're saying but and you would think i would i mean i i probably get it on a subconscious level anyway just because i'm the one channeling it but um yeah i have to reread stuff sometimes to really understand what they're saying Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I was just inspired to do this because I get that a lot. And I just wanted to share my concept of how difficult it can be <laughs> to channel. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a great week or have a great week because it's Monday. And I will talk to you again soon. Much love. Bye.